subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for everything sailing, the lifestyle and travel, the realities of the sailing lifestyle, food, cooking, scuba diving, spear fishing, all the shit that we do. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine. Please subscribe. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Christine. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for all my crazy sailing adventures. Not all because I can only capture so much. And traveling on a sailboat. Thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe to Gypsy on YouTube. My name is Christine. We're at Sumalan Beach Resort and we're gonna go diving. And there's diving boats, bunkas tied up to us. Jeffrey too. It's a very clear day. Look at the visibility. Ooh, so clear and calm. And we got two scuba dive with whale sharks. Two of them. Oh, maybe we're sea mantas. So, gonna go diving.
ice grabber. Yeah, well, let's show me why we're going to do it. On a sailboat. Thank you for subscribing. This is me here and now, but a lot of the videos you will be seeing is backlogged since Australia, which is maybe three years ago. So I'm maybe two and a half, three years behind. So that's why it, it looks confusing, but if you look at the time frame, I was in Australia three years ago. Then we went to Indonesia. We sailed to Indonesia. We spent six months there. And then Paul and I sailed to the Philippines. And we just completed one season in the Philippines. And we plan on staying another season because it's a great country. They speak English. It's cheap because we're on a limited budget. So hopefully um, my helper can catch up with a lot of the videos and um, do current videos so now we have more of a plan on me sending him more current information so this is going to be confusing for you guys so it's going to be like back forth back forth um, past future oh, present past present so hopefully you guys can keep up and it's sort of like a mind game so that's where I'm at. I'm a gypsy hobo, so I'm unplanned, unorganized, but hopefully we get more videos out. And thank you for watching. Vietnamese beer. No. Uh, not, not, not like uh, Imasati, do you have? Imasati, no. No hair. Ah, okay. Uh, but uh, so when you say like, you have, uh, is a uh, uh, chart? Yes, yeah. charts, yeah. Charts, yeah. So, plot where I'm going to do. Yay, we got a Vietnamese flag. Come on, Vietnamese flag. Vietnamese flag. Vietnamese flag. Yeah. 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 Vietnamese flag. Yeah
This probably really big. She but Jack. Hands or something? Or no, okay, but this is not like oh, real. I mean, shake hands. Hagamba, my ham. <laughs> so formal, but yay! My Jack, um, Paul, Rick, um, Jade Nyla. Jack, Abu Sayyaf, the Taiki, God. Oh, but I got anything in Jack the Moon. I got many more. So, hôm nay, sáng nay, Jade Nyla, maybe like a uh, so. My name can I have a Moon Ransom. So maybe Jake Hong Sai and I until Mindy further up north. Maybe Cebu and you Abu Sayyaf. So Cebu? Uh huh. Then I the warning. Not Mindy Dumpa. The warning. Like around Christmas and then I the my name terrorist lab activity. Maybe the moon publicity. So Min Hong Bia. Maybe Abu Sayyaf. So I've like two beers yeah, and this is like lunch time. We thank them for the hospitality and all this. So exiting, we're gonna come back for dinner. I have to watch the staircase. I only had two beers, but for uh, before lunch, that's sort of a lot. Oh, cha chị nhòm phòng được không? Phòng á? À? Oh, any phòng. Tại vì muốn nhòm là oh, uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, um, very nice. Yum cruise. Yeah. Tại vì sometimes mấy cái thuyền á phải cho bốn bốn người trong phòng với bóng bè đó. Oh, phải nhỏ hả? Wow. Có refrigerator too. Oh. Um. <laughs> Uh, quite my <laughs> Chào em. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> uh, Paul đi đâu rồi? Oh, TV. Thế là không có người chị á là very confusing. Oh. Chào em. Anh. Chút nữa mình tới lại mình ăn um, đồ ăn ngon rồi. Anh. <laughs> Oh, okay. I don't know where I'm going. It's like a maze. Oh, Paul! Bánh trưng to quá. Oh! Bánh trưng! Oh! Ngon quá! Very traditional Vietnamese. You have to eat this. It's a gift. Um, yeah, this is very special for New Year's. Yeah, take it back to the boat first. Okay, we'll go back. Okay. Come on, you. Mình tới lại. So, we'll end it for now. They're giving me fish sauce because I'm a hobo. They ask, do you want fish sauce? I go, hell yeah. Okay. Bye. 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 B
Betsy, I'm leaving you. Bye bye. Yum yum. Rati. Rati. and lime. Delicious. So everybody ate really fast. We're still eating. So I'm drinking moonshine. Oh, uống hết nhỉ? Oh, they uống một chút, một hai đó. Yeah. And then we're drinking a white wine. Wine and beer. So most people ate really fast, and this is who's left. 
And we decided not to drink all the wine so we don't get too drunk. Nice so we're gonna drink tea next. So, I'm getting leftovers for Roxy. Bones, um, meat sauce, and rice. She'll love it. Because I said, are you going to throw that away? I'll take it. Because I'm a hobo. Wow, the kitchen. This is mm. tea time. Yeah, Traditional tea. tea. Yeah. Oh, green and tea. Um, sunflower tea. seeds. Sunflower seeds. Mm -hmm. Nước trà. Cảm ơn. Từ đó, từ đó nó mới rồi. Oh, Khoai tây, nước trà. Uống đi. Wow, nhiều. Oh, cảm ơn. Cảm ơn. Tea, uh, Vietnamese tea. Sáng nay. Tea time and uh, sunflower seeds. Family's calling. Like night jam. That's the condo resort they're building at Ocean View Marina. Still under construction. See, we're moving. And my lemon um, grass plant got a lot of water. And clothes that got wet yesterday coming from land to the boat, it was raining like cats and dogs. So we have some laundry to do today and the state of our boat, always like a sorry sorry. A uh, sorry sorry is like a little store that they have everywhere that sells everything imaginable like to soaps, coffees. What are you thinking, Paul? What I should get done today between showers. I thought you wanted to do the sewing thing. I do. I've got to take the lazy jack off and stitch that. And I ripped my dress. Usually I don't wear a dress to sleep, but last night I did because it was raining and I thought I might have to pop up and help Paul if we dragged or something. And then, look, I um, my shoulder sat on it and it broke. One of my favorite dresses from the Sari Sari. I caught Moo Moo. I wear it all the time because it's comfortable. And Paul bought lots of fresh things yesterday. I love um, garlic, um, ginger, cucumbers. Um, I don't know what this green thing is called. Does anyone know? Um, it's like a green melon. Um, it's great as a stir fry, but better at, um, in soups. So we've been eating a lot of this. Love it. Red onions. Cabbage, carrots, more yeah, cucumbers. On, um, how to make the pork soup with that? Oh yeah, I'll do how to make pork soup with this. But most people can't get this. I think Vietnamese uh, supermarkets have this, um, and Asians, because um, the taste is very um, familiar to me. And um, what do they call these little lime lemon things? I forget. Just lime. No, they caught something else, the local name. Anyways, I just woke up, I don't remember. So, we're gonna take a shot of this because um, Paul and I have been sick. So, it'll boost our immune system. My concoction of ginger, that lemon, um, orange thing, I forget the name. Um, ginger. Oh, a few leaves of lemongrass and I Bunch it up so you can smell the lemongrass. And then I boil it. And then I'll um, put it with um, honey and turmeric for a very healthy, immune uh, boosting hot tea. Paul just told me we're stuck here until January 3rd because a typhoon is hitting about 100 uh, miles further north. So there's going to be a lot of um, big seas, heavy winds, so it's best that we stay cooped up here. 
Um, I wanted to see well sharks at least for Christmas, but then New Year's, but now after New Year's. So I guess, oh, we can go around the island. We'll go around some small islands. See, the bunkers are going out to go fishing. Um, but with a typhoon, it's a little rough. So they come out of there. There they go. Hi, we'll be doing um, some cooking lessons. Nothing fancy, we're not chefs. Um, sometimes natural style, sometimes not. Um, so yesterday, Paul caught a skate or a stingray. So we'll be cooking it today uh, very easy on a barbecue. So the best food is the ones you catch yourself. So uh, we had this in the refrigerator. So it has a very tough skin, as you can see. And we're just going to throw it in the barbecue because we didn't Google how to um, cook it or anything because he just caught it just very fast. So, and it's so delicious. We'll show you the end result. It tastes um, like lobster and scallops. The strangest um, bones. We'll show you that. But can you see my eyes? We did a photo shoot today with blue eyes, but I don't know if it's going to turn out. So I still have it. And two baked potatoes throw on the barbecue. Easy, fast. And lots and lots of garlic and I crush it with my mortar and pestle um, this is a, only a small one Paul won't let me bring my big stone one and um, he'll be throwing this on the barbecue um, our cooking lessons are just fast easy we're on a budget we're sailors um, and I'm gonna do something with this um, leftover rice probably just butter and garlic and uh, we'll show you the end result and today it's really cold. It would be nice to do it over open fire, but it's illegal um, in the wet Sundays here, so we respect those um, laws. So we're going to do it on the barbecue, and it's still going to be yummy, not as beautiful. And think about all the noceums, or they call them midges, on the beach at this time. Um, you can see I, I got bitten a lot. Do you see bites? Well, I don't yeah, know if you see bites. Okay. Oh yeah, here. Right here, see? They love the Asian buffet. So I have to close the Asian buffet. Set. Paul? Okay, dogs. Okay. Okay, here we are out in the barbecue. Just a bit of good old canola spray. Easy to clean up. I'm putting it on tin foil. Instead of using the barbecue tray raw and rusty, and everything sticks to it. And this is a classic Chaton Aussie boat. I'm working on it. I've got projects on the go. I have to stand and lean across. <laughs> and that fuel can is empty, so there's... Uh... Okay, we get it. <laughs> Someone vomited on the boat. Lighting up the Barbie. You, you had to say barbecue. Uh, you said barbecue, but Barbie, you said... Barbecue, okay. yeah. But you said Barbie. Australians are supposed to say Barbie. I did say Barbie, didn't I? No. It doesn't matter. Okay. Alright. So it's a light. Doesn't matter about throwing these in now or not. No, nope, throw it on the bottom so it cooks faster. No, it'll get enough heat up top. Okay. And this is the real hard part. You've got to make sure that you put them skin down. That's about it. It's all I know. I haven't Googled it yet. Skeet, skeet, skeet. Mmm. I can't wait to show you the final result. They'll cook pretty quick. Oh, and the edges go crispy and they are just delightful. Here we are, the first lot's cooked, or at least from what I'm learning is cooked. So you can pull that, the, and you see, the meat just, just forks out, you just pull it out of the rib. It's got like a rib cartilage or cartilage bones in there. Quite peculiar. Well, yeah, it's like ribbons. It's like kind of scary almost, but so delicious. Oh, well, actually, this piece I haven't got to them yet. This oh is, yeah, this is the outer wing. Is that black stuff like gonna That's be the, eating the skin? Oh, I thought. Okay, yeah, try to take that out. Okay, we're gonna be eating it with garlic butter. 
and some wine. But we'll wait for the next batch. Pulling the underside skin off on this one. A little bit hot. Sorry about the... No, not quite cooked to the edge. Okay, you want to throw it back in? Yeah, this is still a bit sticky, so I'll throw it back in. Okay, but so delicious. So today, we realized why the meat was so sandy, like uh, fine grit sand. Whereas yesterday we had a barbecue with a fellow boater. Paul left it in a, a water bucket. The smaller pieces we put in the freezer immediately, so I realized it needs to be rinsed a lot more or just a bucket of salt water um, to get rid of most of the sand. Still yummy, but a little bit gritty. So, good to know. This is the last batch. Oh, look at how Paul's um, tearing it with the fork. It's so interesting, the texture. Yes, it looks a little scary, but so delicious. You're not going to even notice the texture. And we reheated the garlic butter. We've been drinking cheap cast wine and possibly Woodstock. And what we've learnt with this is you're better off to overcook it, unlike a lot of other meats. Overcooking this little, it just turns so soft and falls off the bone. Yeah, even I agree. So that, se that seals the deal. <laughs> and show them the bone. That's the cartilage. Oh, cartilage, cartilage. It's so odd. And actually the cartilage with the um, skin for me tastes like cuttlefish. And you know the dry fish that Asians eat. Um, you pick so, some more of that later. Yes, I don't raise anything so I pick at that. So bon appetit! This is um, actually our second cooking video. The other cooking video was roadkill. Mm -hmm. RC that one day were put together. Explain about RC. Not now. <laughs> hey! Huh. You say bon appetit? Bon appetit! Come on, get into yeah. it!